Yo, Dan Tricks here, doing tricks for you from these fantastic books, just to make your world that little bit more spectacular. So today, I just wanna share with you what I've got in my cupboard. I wanna take you through all the books that I own and I've bought over the years and shown effects to you on my videos. Before we start, I just wanna show you something quickly because these two tables, this one is actually designed from the Tarbell course in Magic which is a fantastic selection of books. It's actually made from a keyboard stand that I had laying around. And then I've got a bit of material on top here. There are the worlds, a bit of MDF cut out, and you have the little pockets. I've got bits of string on the bottom that you can adjust to any size you want. Cloth on top like so. It's obviously with the window shining through, you can see the worlds. If you were to put it somewhere different, you can use it over here like so taking a cloth using your mobile phone just to cover it over and make the mobile phone vanish. And we have this table that I've made that I use in all my videos. Just a mat I bought from a Magic Dealers. A bit of MDF covered in a bit of felt. And this is a projector stand that I bought from Amazon. This one cost about 35 pounds. That one probably cost me about 20 quid. Put on the back of here, this duvet, duvet. The ditching pocket and also loading so you can use it place a coin and obviously ditch the coin like so. Don't do it from this side because people will see it. It all folds up, stick it in the back of the car, Bob's your uncle, Fanny is your aunt. Let's get into the collection of books that I have. Got all my collection of books. Harry Lorraine's Apocalypse. Got the red one and the black one, which are volumes 16 to 20, and this one is six to 10. So there are two more fat old books like this, and these are an awesome set of books. Harry Lorraine is an absolute genius. If you're just starting in magic, I've covered tricks from this book, it's fantastic. The Beginner's Guide, the magic book by Harry Lorraine. So I recommend this to anyone that's starting out in magic. Really good book, and you should get it. One of the effects out of the book, as you take, you watch the Six of Spades and the Two of Hearts, they actually change. Another nice one that I've covered before from that book is you take two laces, you show the middles here, place it behind your neck, like so, and you can actually see that now the laces have in fact linked. So the Servant File, which is a fantastic book, Mainly cards. Oh, there's a bit of money magic in there as well. Silk through rope. The way it's written, easy to read. Nice illustrations in there. He's a great thinker in magic. I've covered effects from this one before as well. But yeah, this one I bought from the Blackpool Magic Convention a few years ago. Bruce Servans, a reputation maker, a creator, performer of close-up magic, is already firmly established. Laymen know him from appearances with Johnny Carson, Merv Griffin, and Dick Cavett. Done a lot of TV work back in the day. So yeah, Bruce Servan. Servant file, definitely worth having on your shelf as well. Obviously the classic book, Guy Hollingworth's Drawing Room Deceptions. I've only learned one effect from this, Twisting the Aces, and you've seen me perform that as well. Not an easy book to read. It's definitely not a beginner's book, but I'm glad I've got it. Pure Effect by Darren Brown. Darren Brown is a master as we all know. This is a really good one. Anthony Owens, Secrets. Now Anthony Owen does a lot of tricks that you can use on the camera. There's an item here that he uses all the time called changing glue. This is a two-way glue you can use and I've covered effects from this book. Fantastic oil and water routine in this that you should learn. It's brilliant. So again, Anthony Owen, another great thinker in magic. Secrets. Good book. By Forces Unseen, written by Stephen Minch. Magic by Ernest Eric. This book I've only learned one effect from. Claptrap and it's a fantastic routine, really nice visual effect of the cards coming out of the pack. And as I say, I have uh, covered that a few times. Really, really like performing that effect. That's a great one to master. So if you haven't got this book, then uh, get it. Now this one by David Aker, More Power To You. This is a really nice book. It's got some fantastic stuff in it. Effect in here called Time Flies. You take your watch off, and then you make your watch vanish, and then it reappears back on your wrist. Really, really nice effects. This is a great book, and David Aker is a funny guy. 
Another one by David Aker is this Natural Selections Volume 2. If you can get hold of Volume 1, let me know, but I can't get hold of it. And David Aker, I've sent him a message and he can't. But yeah, this has got some fantastic tricks in it and effects that you can perform is a nice one with your wallet where you, where you take out your card, bosh, disappears, and then ends up back in the wallet. There's a really nice coin to glass routine. Paul Curry's World Beyond, fantastic. He's the one that does all the cards that separate from red to black, and it's a fantastic routine. And also another legend in magic. Barry Richardson, Act Two. This is a really, really good book as well. There's a fantastic effect called Your Card, and I perform that as well many, many times. They name any card they want, and you basically say, well, that's amazing. That's my card. Look, my card, and you reach into your pocket, and a blank card written in Sharpie ink, it says, my card. And then you turn it over, and on the other side, it's the one that they named. And honestly, it goes down like a storm. That is a fantastic trick. So Act Two, Barry Richardson. Now, I've not really read much from this book by Tom Stone, Vortex. A whirlwind of routines, tricks, ideas, opinions, inspired and inspiring. A nice little trick that I covered a little while ago where you take a coin, demonstrate for you, and you can roll your sleeves up and you just place the coin behind the elbow and you just rub like so, the coin vanishes and ends up in the hand. Yeah. So I haven't really covered much mind reading stuff. This one by Max Maven, The Colour Series of Mentalism. It's actually a really good book. In the future, cover something from this. There is a really nice effect in there that I like. I used to perform to people, and people used to go, how'd you do that? Also, this fat old book. This. It's called Mind, Myth, and Magic. Never covered anything from this book by T.A. Waters. Let me know if you've got this book or you've seen any effects from it. It's a fat old book, look at that. Look how much is in there. It is. Mental. Well aimed complete method for miracles. The reason why I bought this is it's got some good cigarette manipulation. It's got thimble magic, coin magic, tricks for sponge balls, different kind of ways to hold the cigarette. I've done a video a little while ago on cigarette manipulation, um, so make sure you check that one out. Now this is really nice, miracle materials. Got a fantastic coin in bottle trick that I've performed before as well. It's a great effect. The bar and a marked with a pencil. Next, a small glass jar. The cork lid is introduced. The cork is removed. The jar is shown empty. After replacing the cork, the coin is then slapped through the glass and into the jar in a very open manner. The coin inside the jar is, is the very one marked by a spectator. Better yet, they remove it from the jar. Another one in here where you tear open a packet of M&M's Skittles. You eat one of the Skittles and you then seal the pack and you can give it to them and the pack is completely sealed. No tear, nothing. It's like real magic. So yeah, Miracle Material by Michael Kaminskas. Kaminskas. Nice little effect, covered this one before. Conjunction by Joshua Quinn, where you get a business card and you link them impossibly. I have covered that one before. Check it out on my other videos. Almanac by Richard Kaufman, where you can stretch a playing card. That's really nice, I've covered that one before. Check out my video if you want to see that. Nice book. Classic Magic of Larry Jennings. Awesome. This has got some fantastic stuff in it. Open Travellers, which is an absolutely fantastic routine. I love that. Revelation, which is a great way to produce four cards, four selected cards, four of a kind, whatever. So yeah, the Classic Magic of Larry Jennings. Don't need to say much about him. Legend in Magic. And here's a guy I've never heard of before. Bill Tarr, the now you see it, the now you don't notebook. I got this from the Magic Convention, Blackpool. Really, really good. And there is actually a fantastic coin routine in here where you can make the coin vanish. It shows you different methods, making coins float, torn and restored, double color change. That's also another really nice effect. I think 20 pound for this book, worth every penny. Another nice book to own. Now these books are definitely worth having. Three of these. Paul Harris, Art of Astonishment. They've got all sorts in here. They're one of the best effects, I think, out of these collection of books. I can't remember the name of it now, but it's an effect where the spectator writes their initials on a business card, they light a match, wave it over their card, the card vanishes with their initials gone, and then it actually ends up in the matchbox that they've been holding the whole time. Fantastic trick. And there's another nice little card, a flourish, which you can see here, and it's just a nice little quick trick of revealing four cards. I've covered loads of effects from his books, but go and check them out as well. I'll do some more in the future. 
to come. He's a strange guy. I don't know if you've ever seen him on YouTube, but a bit creepy. Probably in my top 10, I reckon, Paul Harris, Art of Astonishment. If you haven't got them, get them. Say no more, Tarbo Course in Magic, eight of these books, absolutely brilliant. Got everything you need to know about magic, card tricks, coin tricks, rope tricks, string tricks, sponge balls, it goes on and on and on. And I've covered tons of stuff from these books and I'll cover more because these are the kind of books you can just go back to, flick through, find something, and there it is, Ooh, a little gem. Check out my other videos for professional, amateur, and the beginner. If you're just starting out on coin magic, Modern Coin Magic by JB Bobo. It's a cheap book as well. This book here probably only costs, I think, about 12 pounds. If you want to get into magic and you haven't done any sleight of hand coins, this is the one you want to get. David Roth's Expert Coin Magic. It's a good book. People seem to love this book. I don't think it's as good as uh, Michael Rubenstein's. Love David Roth, think he was a fantastic magician and uh, yeah, big loss there. What a legend in magic. Now this is a nice little book to have. Self-working table magic by Carl Furves. Just does simple stuff like with matches, coins, uh, paper clips, fruit, balloons, handkerchiefs. Got some simple magic in there that you can perform. So yeah, that's a nice one to have. Cheap little paperback book. My favorite coin magic book, which I've been practicing effects from over the last few weeks. Back on it again. I love this, gonna be covering some more on my channel. Michael Rubenstein's Coin Magic, absolutely fantastic. And you'll learn the ROPS technique, new theory, retention pass, click pass, double clicks pass, loads of stuff in here. So this is definitely worth having. I love this book and it weighs a ton. I've always made it from steel or something. And also this book, which my boy bought for Christmas. The Francis Tabaret Rope Magic. Now I've been practicing his FISM routine. Now I've now gone through the whole routine and I'm just now practicing it, just moving off them rough edges. And this book's got some great illustrations in it. It's so simple to use. I really, really like this book. In the future, you'll be seeing some effects from this book. So yeah, Francis Tabaret Rope Magic. So there's my cupboard of books. I also have over here, Destination Zero by John Bannon which someone introduced me to. I can't remember the name of the guy, but I will look you up, I'm sorry. Please put a comment down the, below if it was you. This is mainly self-working card tricks. I haven't learned anything out of this yet. Can't wait to read through it and have a look. It's supposed to be really, really good. Can't wait to show you some tricks from this. And then obviously the classic books, Card College, I covered recently, and there's some fantastic routines, flourishes, all sorts. If you want to become a card master, Roberto Giova's Card College. So there you go. All the books I've got on my shelf. Obviously got loads of magic in the loft as well that I never use. Why do we always do that? Buy loads of rubbish. I suppose it's like anything really. Got loads of things coming up. Can't wait. Soon we'll be out there performing in the real world. Now the pubs are all open. At the moment it's just the gardens, but fingers crossed things are gonna get better. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If this is the sort of thing you like, make sure you subscribe and press that bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Now keep the magic real. Peace and love. Love you guys. See you in the next one.